Just in the last four or five weeks, we have uh, discovered at least 12 to 15 incidents before they've happened. Fox 61's Matt Karen has what you need to know tonight. With every beep and swipe comes a risk. There has been an increase in credit card skimming over the past couple of years, and in particular over the past couple of months. Just in the last four or five weeks, we have uh, discovered at least 12 to 15 incidents before they've happened. It's sophisticated, overseas-inspired organized crime, and staying one step ahead of the criminals is tricky. There are people coming from Eastern Bloc countries, and they're recruiting people here in the United States uh, to help them with these crimes, usually as being a, a mule for planting a device, removing a device, or even, as I mentioned previously, with the ATM skimming and being the collector. A card skimmer is usually installed on top of an existing credit card terminal as an overlay. They can be hard to spot. One of the real issues is, is why is this, this, this technology so easy to get on the black web? Um, anybody can go out there and find this equipment and get into business. Tips to spot a skimmer scanner include looking for unusual gaps or cracks, tampered stickers, harder to press keys and buttons, or mismatched colors. This is the some of the most inhuman, heartfelt type of crime you see. These are, um, you know, folks who really need their SNAP benefits to take care of a kid who needs a meal. Governor Lamont says scammers typically increase their activity at the beginning of each month when SNAP food benefits get reloaded onto cards, cards that don't have the same security features as your credit card. One of the challenges that we have in the state regarding our SNAP cards is that they are magnetic strips. So they don't have the ability to tap, right? And, and, they're, and they also cannot, right now, be loaded into a wallet. To give you an idea of the scope of the problem from 2023 to 2024, 3.7 million in Connecticut SNAP benefits alone were stolen. State police advise you to use gas pumps close to buildings, avoid third-party ATMs not associated with your brick-and-mortar bank, and use your other hand to cover your PIN code. People who do this have no shame in who they're targeting. Now, the Department of Social Services says that they have processed nearly 8,000 applications for those replacement SNAP benefits. Uh, they say they've also created a specific unit to deal with processing all of those applications. They also say, though, that federal funding for that reimbursement is very limited. It's a pilot program, and it's set to expire in October. We're live in New Britain. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.